Hello people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. This is a really quick one from me about the power of the photo book because as part of my decluttering my life, I also went through my digital life and um, realised that in a way it was actually really uh, weighing me down because I'd got over 30,000 photographs on my external hard drive just from the time that I met my husband in 2005. So um, when I started to go through the actual digital photographs and my boxes of physical photographs, uh, it was a real um, cathartic and a little bit painful experience. But what I did, I started to get rid of any duplicates. I started to get rid of anything where there were people on the photographs that I didn't even know who they were. Although I did as part of trying to trace my ancestry, try to find out who those people might be. And um, I also started to get rid of anything that I looked at and made me feel like I'd just been stabbed through the heart. So this is not for me, it wasn't photographs of loved ones that I've lost because whilst that is sat sometimes, it connects me to a now, a happy nostalgia. It was things in my own life where I looked at photographs that just connected me to something that was deeply painful and I didn't want to be connected and anchored back to that place again. So I actually deleted all those photographs and threw those photographs away and I've never missed them and that was a really helpful part of freeing myself up emotionally from clutter. Um, but every year for the last five or six years I'll go on to Groupon or My Living Social or You Photo Books, Smiley Hippo, places like that and I get a voucher for a photo book and I fill it with all the photographs from me and my husband and family and friends over the years, even for example my daughter's, um, a photograph of my daughter's letter to Father Christmas years ago but I just put all those things in there and it's there is nothing like looking at a photo album instead of scrolling through thousands of photographs on your phone and it just kind of helps you smell the roses really and just stop for a minute and take stock of all the things good or bad that may have happened but that represent your life but the other great thing about the photo book is it is part of the process that can help you getting rid, getting rid of your physical clutter because I don't know if you can see here but our loft before we moved was full of stuff. Some of it was a lot of memories connected to our daughter when she was little that also anchored me to feeling sad because she was growing up and there was a grief in all of that, which I think a lot of parents go through. And um, also the fact that we kept things hoping one day for another baby, which was not going to be. But um, there was also stuff like my Cindy Cindy toys, which try as I might, I could never get my daughter to be anywhere near as interested in as I was. Just saying, it's a big bone of contention and I will have this out with her when she's older. <laughs> Uh, but also um, even things like this, you know, this was the video of the King and I that I'd kept for years that I used to see and watch with my nanny and granddad. So it was nothing but wonderful memories. But why do I need the video? I don't. I don't need the video. I haven't even got a video player. And I'll tell you what, when you start to let the physical stuff go, you can still keep the memories and a photograph book's a lovely way of doing that. But you allow that stuff to go on to somewhere else and um, it frees you metaphorically and physically in the process. So um, that is just a quick one from me and I guess what I would say as well is even in times like last year, it's the first year I haven't done a photo book because I didn't think there'd be anything representative that I'd want to go in that book. But in hindsight, I am going to do one because COVID and the impact of it has been a really massive and important part of all of our lives. And actually, good or bad, it should be acknowledged and it should be looked back on and there's so many good things within all the horrible stuff that's happened as well that we can draw from like um sir tom and all the amazing things the nhs have and continue to do and how communities try to pull together and how i tried unsuccessfully to get my daughter to do the joe wicks <laughs> daily exercises and my husband tried to teach us how to do knots and play guitars um you know all of that stuff is stuff that actually in hindsight yeah I want to remember so look 
I hope that's helped. It really can help you ground yourself and it can be quite a bittersweet but quite a cathartic process as well. And um, it's something that I see as part of my overall well-being every year when I come to do it. And um, look, if you're overwhelmed, remember you're not alone. We're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can. We all deserve to lead a clutter-free life. Please drop a like in the video and subscribe to the channel and share it so you spread the word of the overwhelmed woman and um, until next time massive love and now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea